Hi vape fam, how's it going? I know it's been like forever. So this is going to be like a vlog slash update slash sample box review. So I have a lovely 11 bottle sample box to review. Woo! But before I get into that, I just want to let you guys know that there's been a lot going on. Like if you see here, I now have beautiful teeth on the top because I'm sure those of you who have been around a while have noticed. Um, I'm, I'm just going to be straight to the point. My teeth were terrible. <laughs> um, I love my, my new teeth. I'm getting more work done. So that's the biggest reason I've been so busy and haven't been able to make any videos or do any reviews. Um, financially, I haven't been able to go out and buy stuff as often as I'd like because as you guys remember, I was with Wiss. Um, that's a shitty company to work for. <laughs> um, yeah, just the hours were erratic, and with how much hard work that you had to do, it just wasn't worth it. So, I, w I was without a job for about a month, and now we're to Hannaford! Woo! Which is going pretty well. Um, I am in school. I do SNHU online schooling. My, I'm majoring in psychology with a concentration on mental health. Usually when I tell people that, they look at me like, say, what? And I get that. You know, it's, it's a big title and you're like, what the fuck is that for? Excuse my language. Um, basically, I'm studying to become a mental health counselor so I can help out my community. So I can be a real difference maker. And, you know, I'm working with the SNHU Career Center, and they're going to help me find a job working with um, children with special needs, which I am super excited to do that. I'm still in the process of perfecting my resume and everything else and working on my schooling and stuff. So with all that wonderful, awesome stuff, that's why I haven't made a video for a while. So I want to apologize, and I want to thank my fellow Vape fam and Zalebox family and, and everyone who has subscribed to me and has been loyal and hasn't just gone, oh, well, she sucks, I'm going to unsubscribe. Uh, I know I've lost a, a few on, um, from being gone for so long, but those of you who have stuck around and stuck by me, waiting for a new video, I appreciate it greatly. Thank you so much. Um, now, so I don't get all sappy and uh, let's get on to our review of my sample box for the month of April. So, I already said, I already showed you that, but... Just figured I'd show it to you again. Alright, so I got a sticker. And if any of you have seen Xamarin Boxes of Why I Vape, I actually do a short little like sentence and a half in that video if you want to go over to Xamarin Box and check that out. And then I got this really cool Seattle, the Xamarin Box there. And of course, as always, the rating card and the menu. The two-page menu, because I get the 11 bottle. Boom! Yeah, I'm a goof. You'll learn that. <laughs> Alright, this is the first layer. And this is the second layer. And this, I think, is hilarious. That they, They've been getting a lot of complaints lately with bottles breaking, so they stuck some foam and like right next to it, which I thought was pretty funny. I've never gotten a broken bottle. I have gotten bottles that have leaked, I think it was like the second demo box I ever got did that. That was before I started doing these videos for you guys. And I, I wasn't butthurt of it. I was like, whatever. I mean, it happens. You know, temperature. It ships all the way from Arizona. You know, stuff's going to happen. I'm not, I'm not going to be all like, oh my god, oh no. Something broke. Oh no, it's leaking. Oh no, I'm missing like maybe uh, half of a one milliliter of oil. Ooh, oh noes. And if you take that the wrong way, oh well, fuck you too, because you're probably the one going around bitching and complaining about every little fucking thing that goes wrong. I'm sorry, I've ordered all kinds of things from all kinds of companies, and Zambo Boxes, customer service has been the best I've ever seen. For instance, um, for a while they were letting you use your Zambo Bucks uh, towards your subscription before you had the $25 amount to use on whatever you want in the store. Uh, basically, it unlocks it once you go over $25. Long story short, um, it didn't do that when I got this box, when before they would always put whatever sample box I had towards it, and I found out that they don't 
do it that way anymore. You have to unlock it first before it goes towards anything that you buy through Sample Box, be it the subscription or other stuff that you can buy. And, you know, I was like, oh, okay, well, I didn't know. And so the customer service was like, hey, we're going to unlock it for you. Here's $7 and some change, and you can use it on whatever you want. And I was like, dude, really? Cool. Honestly, how many companies would do that for you? How many companies would go out and say, yeah, we're sorry. Here, free money. Not literally free money, but free credit to use. So I did. I got my husband one of his most all-time favorite e-juices, the Assassin. If you watch one of my older Xamarin Box videos, you'll see that. Um, and that was one of his favorites. And I got myself the, um, actually I have it right here. I got myself this one, which is the Mystery Pop. It was in another one of my videos, but I got a bigger bottle of it. Same with my husband, Brian. And it was free. Free on the shipping and everything. I got the two bottles, so my Zambo Bucks that I already had, plus the little bit extra they gave me as an apology for, you know, not knowing that they weren't doing um, that anymore. I got those two bottles, and it paid for the shipping, so it was totally free. I was like, woohoo, yay. So, honestly, I... There are so many other companies out there that are, are much worse. They don't answer you and stuff like that. I've dealt with some of that. Xamilbox is on the top five of one of the best companies that I have worked with when it comes to getting vape products. So these people that are complaining are just doing it because they want attention. But anyway, I'll stop with the negative stuff and we'll start vaping. Alright, thank you for your patience guys. My husband is here too. Also another update while I'm tripping away on my RDA here. Uh, Brian had a tooth pulled. And I don't know if I told you guys, but Brian has a severe phobia of dentists. So I went with him, and it wasn't the best experience, but he finally got one of his bad teeth pulled. Because, uh, like I told him, and like I tell everyone, don't be like me. Like, main reason my teeth got as bad as they did is because I didn't have insurance. At all. Or anyone willing to help me out with that. You know, be like, okay, listen, you know, we're gonna do this and get us started, you know, like I was for my husband, Brian. And it's just, they got to the point where by the time I did get the insurance, it was too late. My teeth had already uh, gotten so bad to the point where I would need dentures. So that's what I meant by I still need more work done. But you know what? The worst of it was up here and now I have this beautiful smile, which is awesome. I know there are people that would say, well, you smell is beautiful already. Yeah, I know. No, it wasn't. It's not fun when people go up to you and call you a meth addict and a fucking druggie and shit like that. I mean, it could just be because I live in Manchester, New Hampshire, and a lot of people that are missing teeth are drug, drug addicts. Never touched drugs in my entire life. Never will. Three quarters of this city smokes crack. Yes, like my husband said, three quarters of our city smokes crack. Um, if anyone is offended by that comment, I apologize. But it's the truth, honestly. I mean, prostitutes, too, is another big thing. But anyway, let's vape. Mmm, that one's good. Alright, so I forgot to show this to you guys. I was too busy talking. You know, my biggest problem. This is the Barista Brew. My thing won't focus all that well on it because my face is right there. Um, it is the Barista Brew S'mores Mocha Breeze. Three milligram, that's... That's the kind I always get, as you guys know. I'm a three milligram vapor. And I got this mainly because everyone on the Zelle Boss community was saying Barista Brew was awesome. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to try one that I know I probably will like. You know, s'mores mocha. I like anything with s'mores. A couple different s'mores um, e-juices I tried and loved. And mocha, I love too in real life and in, in vaping. Mmm. But that is pretty darn good. Brian, would you like a vape? What one is that? This is the Barista Brew S'mores uh, Mocha Breeze. It's basically like a coffee mocha s'mores frap, I'm guessing. Cappuccino kind of thing. Ooh. That's tasty. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's Brian approved. <laughs> That's very good. You know, you get you get the coffee, but it's not so strong like of a latte. coffee. F <laughs> Guys, I apologize. My speech is still a little bit muddled because I'm still getting used to talking with dentures. So if I come off saying things that don't sound the way they should, I apologize. Like I kind of just did that second there. But you get the coffee. And it's not an overpowering coffee like the vanilla latte was for me. It's a nice mix between the s'mores, like the chocolate, you know, graham cracker, marshmallow. And then it goes into the mocha, which is more chocolatey type coffee, cappuccino kind of thing. It's, it's a very nice blend. I, I really like this. I can see why, you know... Everyone on the Zambo Box family is like, oh my god, Burst of Brew is amazing. Honestly, yeah, that's pretty damn good. All right, on to the next one. Where did I put that menu? Oh, it's under my box. And I just dropped it. <laughs> Bear with me a moment, guys. <laughs> But yeah, if I look on the menu here, I'll have to find it. Doo, 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 doo. Yep, what I said it was s'mores and mocha for the s'mores. <sighs> s'mores mocha breeze. All right, so next I'm gonna be trying melon head. This fancy dancy lady and gentleman on it. Kind of one of those oldish, you know, sixties cartoon drawing ad things. You know, back when they had those really cheesy cigarette ads, like Zemo Box did a video on it. You'll know what I mean if you go and check it out. Alright, Melonhead is a, when I find it, Mango Cantaloupe Honeydew. That sounds pretty good. Let's see. Chip it away on my RDA. Uh, uh, there we go. Got it open. Sometimes with these unicorn bottles, you gotta really like uh, get it open. Drip. But yeah, like I was saying, guys, you know, I was just, you know, I wanted to get my teeth fixed. I was just so tired of being being called a freaking meth head and all this other stuff, and it was just terrible, you know. Especially when I'm not even that kind of person. Like, anyone who knows me in real life knows I am one of the chillest people you'll ever talk to. Like, I am so down to earth and everything. That's why I'm going to be becoming a mental health counselor. Because I think I can really make a difference. Oh, wow. That's good. <laughs> Damn. Mango is a bit strong. I'll, I'll admit, but the, the the honeydew and everything and the cantaloupe mix quite well with the mango. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it does have a slight teensy weensy bit of an aftertaste but I feel like you know if I shook it up beforehand I always forget to do that I don't know if you guys ever forget to do that what's that one? melon head have you had this one before? it was a different company that did it I was actually gonna mention that next to you guys the last time I tried one called melon head it made me want to vomit it was oh. like god no it was like oh. a cantaloupe waffle comb Nastiness. Yeah. It was bad. To this me, one, I this one's pretty good though. To me, that one tastes like I just bit into like a fermenting, like old, fucking mango. It kind of tastes a little like rotten to me. Like I don't, I don't like that. Well, like, I'm not getting that. I mean, I'm getting the crisp uh, mango cantaloupe-ness of it. Um, but I do admit that the mango is a bit strong, and there is a bit of an aftertaste after you initially exhale and like you know, smack your lips together, you know, sometimes how we do that, you know, we vape and then we go, and then we're like, 
you know, when you do that, there's a bit of an aftertaste, which is, you know, again, probably is because I didn't shake it before you dripped it, which is, you know, it's not bad, though. You know, it's not like, oh, my God, you, you know, again, going back to beyond the bottle with the freaking pineapple they had that tasted like pine salt. Nothing is ever going to be that bad to me, I don't think. I don't know, though. <laughs> Only time will tell. All right, let's go on to the next one, folks. Put this down. And yes, if you people have noticed, I am using the Voopoo still. Now, I know there was a bunch of drama going on and stuff like that. Now, granted, Voopoo may be a really crummy company for what they did. I can even agree with that. But I have tried other mods, and honestly, I love the quick fire with the Voopoo. I love how it works. I love how easy it is to use. Their products are, are top-notch. There's no getting around that. Anyone that's used their products could agree with me. What they did was shitty, sure, but I'm still gonna use the freaking Voopoo drag. I'm not gonna smash it just because they were shitty to, to someone. I mean, sure, it's not right what they did, but thus the world of business. You know, you're, you're gonna, it's gonna happen. It doesn't matter what you do. It could be vaping companies, it could be stock market, Wall Street, wherever. If you're in the business world, you're going to get fucked sooner or later. It's just how hard you're willing to get fucked in order to get what you want. But anyways, folks, on to a happier note. I have next the Candy Pop, which is a peach gummy. Which I like the art on that. That's really cute. And if I go into here, peach gummy candy. Kind of goes without saying. Da, 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 da. Time to drip it on here. Yeah. But yeah, so in case you guys are wondering, school's going really well. I just finished my first term and I have A's. Woo it was kind of nerve wracking though, I will admit. You know, waiting for the grades and everything else, you know, just going, oh my god, I don't know. I've never done online schooling. I don't know how this is going to go. It's been like 10 years since I went to school. But all those fears of mine were pretty, you know, pointless to have because I actually am doing really well. And my next term starts next week. Ooh, it's very peachy. In a good way. In a good way. <laughs> yeah, that is really good. Brian, you want to vape? Oh, the, the peach gummy one? Yeah. Tried that one. Oh, you did? Yeah. I didn't know. I guess you already tried it. Well, would you would you like to uh, throw your two cents in? It's delicious. I'm sure your people out there would wonder uh, the new mod that I'm vaping on. Oh yes, Brian got a new mod. He got the Smock Mag Kit. He's still using the Valerian tank because we found that with the um, the tank that comes with this. I love the color, like the red and the black, it looks so sick, so red and black sexy. Um, with the tank that came with it, it looks nice, but it leaks. Like, I went and I picked up the mod to look at it for a second, didn't even like tilt it way over or something weird like that, I just, I just looked at it, you know, like this, and oil all over my hand. It wasn't like, you know, a tiny little drip, because, you know, it's the vape life, we're going to get oil on our hands no matter what, but it was a lot, like the coil got flooded or something, and I was like, well, that's interesting. <laughs> so he's been using the Valerian tank on it instead, but seriously, it's a decent mod from what, you know, I haven't used it personally, but he's been using it, and he loves it to pieces. More so than the Sigeli Chaos that he was using. Alright folks, so another one I have in here, it's one I've already tried so I'm not going to retry it, but it's the Toasted S'mores Milkshake by The Yard, again with the nice 60s, probably more like the 50s type artwork pin thing on there. Hmm? It's a pinup girl. Yes, pinup girl, thank you. See, this is why Brian's around, he helps me 
fill in the blanks when my brain doesn't want to work. That and I love him because he's my hubby. <laughs> but yes, I've already done this one in a previous video. I love it. Five stars. I'm not going to redo it because you guys already know that I love this stuff. And I've already given you my two cents on that one. So I will skip that one. Alright, this one I picked and it smells amazing. <sighs> watermelon. I know I kind of gave it away. It's called Wondermelon. It's got a watermelon on there. And if we go to the menu here, Wondermelon is a juicy watermelon. Oh gee, I had no idea. Only the picture gave it away. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, drip this wonderful smelling watermelon on my RDA here. And in case you haven't noticed, the RDA I am using is the Apocalypse Armageddon. Now, I know some people are like, eh, doesn't have a deep enough juice well and blah blah blah. It's like, I only use this thing for when I'm tasting juices. I don't use it when I'm going to work. I use my new tank that I just acquired, the Falcon by Horizon Tech. And honestly, I can't say the flavor is like better than the Valerian. They're pretty equal with flavor, but the coil life is phenomenal. And that alone, to me, ma makes it better than the Valerian. And I've been using it steady now for about a week and a half, I think. I'm still using the same coil. It came with the M1 coil, which is a mesh coil. And it's, it's great. That's the one I use when I go to work and stuff. And it holds up to 7 milliliters of juice, which that to me is awesome. Because, you know, I don't know about you, but when I'm at work, I kind of chain vape when I take my breaks and stuff. I'm sure other people will agree with me. All right, let's try this Wonder Melon. I almost didn't want to exhale that. It's so fucking good. Oh my god. Excuse my language, but like I get excited when I have anything with watermelon and it tastes the way I expect it to taste. That is so good. <coughs> mine now. <laughs> I like that. Brian's like, mine now. <laughs> I'll fight you for that, it. That's good. I like that. This reminds me of that Mad Hatter watermelon one that I had that was a coil killer. This one, on the contrary, is not a coil killer. It's only 70-30. 70, 70 VG, 30 PG, in case you're not sure what I'm talking about. It's so good. So watermelony and, like, sweet. But not like, you know, a candied watermelon. It's like, you know, a normal sweet, juicy watermelon you just bite into. And as you guys all know, I love my watermelon. And when it tastes the way it should, I love it even more. Because, I mean, I've had a bad watermelon here and there. But this is, this is on point. This is tied with Mad Hatter. Honestly, Mad Hatter is my all-time, all-day vape. As I've told you guys before. And Brian wanted me to show you guys this. This is the uh, Tyrant Assassin one that I got for Brian with the free uh, sample bucks that I got uh, in that shipment. How I got, I showed you guys the one that I got. This is the one that I got Brian, a 60 mil bottle. You know, and again, can't go wrong. Sample bucks is awesome type of thing that they do. You know, basically it's like store credit as soon as you go over 25 bucks. You can get whatever the heck you want on their website with that. And if you get only one thing and just want to make sure the shipping is paid for because you don't want to pay shipping, it does that too. And that's what I did. I got him that one bottle and me the other one, as I mentioned earlier in the video. And awesome. It's like Christmas. You get it in the mail and you're like, woohoo, free stuff. Mmm, that is really good. All right. On to the next one before I, like, you know, vape that whole thing in this video. Alright, um, this was one of the sneak peek ones they sent me to the, my email. And I saw what the name of this, this one was. You can't see it on there, you only see the company name. And I'll tell you why you can't see the name on there. Because, its name is Fire Crotch. I saw that in the email they sent, because they send you an email with like a sneak peek of either one or two juices that are coming in your box, you know, so you get an idea of like what is going to be in there before you get it. It's a, 
And then I saw the description. I'm like, okay, a creamy strawberry cheesecake. And I was telling my husband about it. I'm like, you know what? If this is awesome, that'll be the only fire cross that touches my mouth. Haha! <laughs> yeah, I went there. <laughs> but, I'm gonna crack a joke, but I don't want it to get across the internet. <laughs> I only know one other fire crop, and that's Lindsay Lohan. Oh, snap! He went there! I don't even think she cares, honestly. We are so, like, little on the food chain. She's so drugged out, she has no idea what the hell's going on. Oh my god, dear. Alright, well, let's smell this fire crotch. <laughs> it smells like clams. It doesn't smell terrible. I don't know if it's going to vape all that well, though. It does smell a little funky. It's a fire crotch. <laughs> but let's drip this on here and let me let me see if this, this fire crotch is any good. No, oh, excuse me. I've been vaping so much it tickled my nose. Alright, let's see if this Lindsay Lohan Aegis is any good. LOL, just kidding. <laughs> Please don't sue. <laughs> oh, come on, we're just fucking around. I'm sure she hears worse things from the guy she's fucking. Which one? I don't know. I don't pay attention to any of that crap. But anyway, let's try out this fire crotch. <coughs> oh. Dry throat. Hmm. Let me have a few more vapes. I'm not really a fan. Sure? I have yet to find a strawberry cheesecake I actually like. That one is just too much crust taste. You know, no pun intended, the fact of the name that is called Fire Crotch. Yeah, it's morally of just graham cracker crust. Yeah, that, that's all I'm getting off of it. It's just <laughs> graham cracker. And Brian agrees with me, too. You know, oh. it's just graham crackery. There's no strawberry or cheesecake flavor to it, really, at all. I mean, maybe it'll taste better once it sits. But then again, I was going to make a joke, but I feel like it would come out really bad, so I'm not going to. But, yeah, I'm sure you get the picture of what I was about to say. <laughs> yeah, no, just, I get graham cracker. That's all I'm getting. I'm not getting any strawberry or anything. Just I get graham cracker with a funky aftertaste. So I you guess. Love graham cracker. There you go. Yeah, if you like graham cracker crust, you know this is the vape juice for you. I don't know how you feel about vaping something with the name fire crotch though. Not sure how I feel about it either. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you just gotta get a fire crotch in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he went there, so I didn't have to. Alright, that's the first layer, folks. So I'm gonna throw that down there. Right, five more. So this one is called Island Dream. Another, like, 50s type picture. I actually really like that. You know, it's, it's vintage, it's old fashioned. I really like that. Alright, let's check the menu. Menu, menu. Alright, Island Dream is a vanilla ice cream with pineapple. Hmm, that could be good. I'll shake this one. Because the last one by this company, the melon had, had that interesting aftertaste. This one might too. Oh god, another. Right, I gotta put my mod down here. There we go. Alright. Let's try this out. Trip, 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 trip. My hand's like shaking while I'm trying to like squeeze the bottle. Mainly because, you know, unfortunately with these types of unicorn bottles, they're very hard to squeeze sometimes, I've noticed. All 
right, let's try this island dream. Hmm. I didn't really get anything on that. Let me try again. <coughs> hmm. I don't know, that one's kind of bland. I'm not getting anything. I'm not getting any vanilla ice cream or any pineapple. And usually pineapple is a very strong flavor. And you can usually tell that away, like, from anything almost. It's one of the strongest type flavors in an e-juice usually. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not getting anything from that. So that one, I, I wouldn't really recommend anyone get. It doesn't really have much of a flavor. This one I'm intrigued by, though. This one's called Apple Fritter. What Zamobox sent me, because uh, there was an apple like waffle one uh, made by... I can't think of the company right now. Forgive me, but it's the one that did apple butter. Um, anyone from the Zamobox family that knows about that e-juice, they also have like an apple waffle type thing they really wanted to try, but they didn't have any, so they gave me this instead. Apple Fritter. Um... I can't even read that. Any new glasses, folks? Uh, it's by Loco Yokel. Yeah, that doesn't sound rednecky. Uh, that's the company, Max VG Apple Fritter. That's all it really tells me. It doesn't tell me if it's like caramel or whatever. So let's try this one. Hopefully, this one tastes much better than the Island Dream one. Definitely opens easier. Alright, drippy drip, drippy drip, drippy drip. <sighs> right, just a little more that time than I did with the other ones so it can really saturate with the cotton and everything. Sitiate. Sorry, I was being funny. Alright, let's try this out. Yeah, I'm not really getting that great of a flavor on this one either. Yeah, it's just kind of... Kind of like cardboard, but not literal cardboard. Like, you know, when something is really plain, it's, it's kind of like that. Like, I don't even get much of an apple. Yeah, it's pretty unsatisfying. I mean, you get, like, the spices from an apple fritter, but that's really it. Like, crust and, like, the spices that are used to make an apple fritter. But, yeah, it's not really something that jumps out at you and says, Hey, I'm delicious! Yeah, I don't know about that one. Alright, this one is one of the ones I chose. Was just Binge Vapors Premium E-Liquid Carousel. Which is a... Once I open the freaking thingy. It is a Berry Sherbert Candy. I don't know, I've been really liking candy vapes lately. I love my desserty vapes, don't get me wrong. Nothing will ever replace my desserty vapes. 
but lately I've been really liking candy vapes. Drip, 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 drippy. All right, folks, let's try this out. It smells pretty good. Freaking shoulder just cracked. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that one at all. This is the one I chose, so I'm to blame. You get the candy, but it's not like a good candy. It's like perfumey candy. It's not good. Brian, you want to try it? See if maybe it tastes different <clears throat> to you. What one's this? That one's the carousel one, the sherbet candy one that I got. I'll take out the last two flavors that I have left to try for you oh. guys. Yeah, you God, see. It's like I walked through the freaking perfume area of Macy's. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's very perfumey. Why is it no one can get the sherbet flavor right? If you guys know of a great sherbet flavor, please let me know because I'm still trying to find a decent sherbet flavor and a decent strawberry short. Um, not strawberry shortcake. I found that already. Strawberry cheesecake flavor. See what I mean? So we're getting used to talking. Yeah, no, it's like, ugh. It's, it's not like as bad as, you know, again, I'm going to mention it. Not as bad as Beyond the Bottles, but it's not, it's not good. All right, so the next one I'm going to try, hopefully it tastes better than that one. It's called Bomb by Bubble Dop Vapor. I thought that said drop, but nope, it literally says dop if you look at it. It's D-O-P, dop. Got yeah, an interesting graphic. I'm guessing it's some sort of bubble gum. All right, let's see if I can find it on my list here. Red, white, and blue pops go in a hint of bubble gum. Hmm, this could be good. And I am running out of time for my video. That's what my camera's telling me right now, so I gotta make this quick, guys. I have four minutes left before I run out of time. I think that's enough time to finish up my video. Just won't be able to make jokes. As much as I know you guys live my jokes. Probably love Brian's jokes better than mine. I don't know. If they do, please send money. Ha <laughs> ha! Funny, Brian. Hey, I could try, can I? Ooh. That is good. I mean, it still has that, that distinct aftertaste. Um, not as bad as the other one I just tried, but it has a slight aftertaste. Hmm. It is good though. It does remind me of those, you know, those old fashioned popsicles that were red, white, and blue. I don't know if you guys remember them, but it reminds me of that and, uh, and like bubble gum at the same time. It, it's hard to explain. Yeah, it's not bad though. It's pretty good. Pretty good. What's that one though? The uh, red, white, and blue popsicle. Mm -hmm. All right, last one, guys, is high voltage shock treatment without caffeine. Yep, pomegranate and apple caffeine free, because I guess apparently they have a caffeine version. Bottle looks kind of cool, too. Got to make this super quick. As always, guys, thank you for all your subscribing. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. Share my hilarity and my, my husband Brian's hilarity with your friends. That's good. Mmm. 
that is very good. You get the pomegranate, you get the apple, you get all those flavors. That is really good. That is a very good fruity vape. So guys, I have to cut this short, but thank you for watching. Thank you for being patient with me. I'm going to try and upload as much as I can, but I'm a very busy bee between school, work, and just life in general because people are so demanding. But anyway, as always, guys, I love you. You're awesome. Remember, smoking kills, vaping heals. So remember, guys, keep vaping because why not? It tastes good, at least as long as the FDA doesn't take our flavors away. So if you haven't taken that survey yet, make sure you take that survey. But thanks, guys. I'll see you later. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Bye!